Chuck Swindle, who's an author and speaker, motivational speaker and so on, says, attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, than what other people think or do. It's more important than giftedness or skill. The only thing we can do is play on the one string we have, and that is our attitude. Life is 10% what happens and 90% how we react to it. 10% on what happens and how, 90% on how we react. John Maxwell tells a story about he and his wife had been travelling, speaking. They're on the way back home from the airport driving. They pass a Krispy Kremes outlet. He said he has a passion for Krispy Kremes. He does actually have to watch how many he eats or how often. And normally, I didn't realise this, but normally Krispy Kremes have a red light uh, that's turned on when they're freshly baking Krispy Kremes. But this, and he usually, that's his trigger for him <laughs> to go in. He knows they're fresh. That's his justification. He said they, they got out of the car, they went inside, and they felt they needed a treat after this long trip. <laughs> and the store was actually making the product. So he, he felt he had to go up to the girl at the counter and say, hey, you know, you're baking the product, but you haven't got the light on. She said, oh, no, I hardly ever turn it on because we get too busy. <laughs> There's an attitude problem. <laughs> Tom O'Toole, who, who uh, a very rough and ready baker, and it's worth, worthwhile getting his book to read some of the stories and stuff he has. It's really funny, but very hard-hitting. He, was, uh, he, uh, in, he said Beechworth, but, uh, or Beechworth, the town in Victoria, is only known for the mental asylum and the prison. And it was just dead. Everything was closing up. And he started to take over this bakery, and which grew, and they had to take another shop next door, and then they had to take up the top. And the tourist buses started coming, and businesses started to grow again, and they built this phenomenal business. And he sat with his managers one day, and they said, you know, why are we spending all this time and money training our staff and they leave? He said, what if we don't and they stay? You see, it's a different attitude. It's a different way of looking at things. And if you've got staff, managers, senior managers, or you as owners, um, that looks at the 90% at the of the problem rather than it's only a 10% of the problem, then, you know, we'll never solve those things. You know, I've experienced that in Gloria Jeans. My wife and I were at the airport, Sydney, going somewhere a few months ago. We walked up to the kiosk in Qantas, and you've got to understand the... The blood runs really hot when you hear this. She went to the counter to order my cappuccino, regular cappuccino, for anyone who's going to Glory Jeans around the corner later. Um, just a tip. There's a few nods, so I didn't really get that through very well, did I? <laughs> she has a regular chai. She walks up to the counter and says to the girl, this is before we changed <laughs> the staff, and said, oh, regular chai, oh, we don't have chai, we've broken the only plunger we've got. The cafe next door has a chai. Well, I had to swing around and walk away because I would have strangled the girl, jumped the counter. I thought that wouldn't be good. <laughs> I rang our national operational guy and said, I'm standing here at the airport and here's the story that I've just had. Well, he was horrified. I said, number one, why have we only got one plunger in a store when we sell a lot of chai tea? Because the glass can easily get broke. I mean, the staff take very careful of it in the dishwasher. <laughs> There's stuff on top of it. And secondly, why would we be referring people to another store that you'll never get them back again. And he was horrified as well. But it's all attitude. And that's what builds right up. Even for someone working in a job, their attitude will affect not only the business themselves and how they view life will affect how they get to the top of that pile. So in life, your attitude, whether good or bad, will determine your outcome. It is essential if you want the best you need to have a good attitude. Your attitude will also set your focus. And guess what? You get what you focus on. You see, when we started with Gloria Jeans, we had a vision to be the most respected and loved coffee company in Australia. You might say, well, that's fairly naive and ambitious. Well, hey, we got there. Now, we thought 25 stores would do it, but it probably wouldn't have. But we started on the journey, and as we started to develop the plan and expand and put the things in place. We did some things right, we did a lot of things wrong, 
But because we had the focus, we were not deflected too many times off the course. So you get deflected by good things, you get deflected by bad things, and you get dragged off course, and you finally, you will get there. It's about having an excellence mentality, not a get-by mentality. A couple of people have heard me quote these stats, but many of you haven't, so I'm going to give them to you. It's about excellence. You see, excellence is not an event, event it's an attitude. If you accept 99.9% or close enough is good enough, just listen to these statistics. In the US, if you accept 99.9%, two million documents will be lost by the IRS every year. That's equivalent to the tax department. That'd be good if they lost our documents, wouldn't they? Probably never find them again. If you accept 99.9%, .9%, 22,000 checks will be deducted from the wrong bank account in the next hour. 12 babies will be given to the wrong parents every day. Over 268,000 defective tyres will be shipped this year. Over two and a half million books will be shipped with the wrong cover. We just hope it's Tony's, not mine. <laughs> Over 3,000 copies of tomorrow's Wall Street Journal will be missing three sections. Over 18 million pieces of mail will be mishandled in the next hour and 291 pacemaker operations will be performed incorrectly this year. So if you think close enough is good enough in what you do in life, in relationships, in business, just ask those 291 people if they agree with you. You know, what's the 100 degree attitude? At 99 degrees Celsius, water is hot. At 100 degrees, it boils. With boiling water comes steam and steam can power a train. One extra degree makes all the difference in business and in life. It separates the good from the great. And that's what we should be looking to do in our jobs, in our businesses, the best we can with our staff, with our customers, and with our family and those that we have relationships with.